boys are back on the train again. Might take that one today. Uh, we're going to interlocking. So we've got to make a few transfers to get on the, the inner city train. And the girls ran and got some food. So I'm sitting here managing uh, luggage. So we're staying in interlocking tonight, not in Zurich. <laughs> Alright party people, welcome back. When we left off last, we had visited the Mall of Switzerland in Lucerne and we headed back to our hotel. Now we're off to Interlaken for a couple of days. So we jumped the train to Interlaken, but not before grabbing some food. G Money also grabbed us a couple of beers to have on the train. What are you drinking? The finest chocolate milk. Straight from the Switzerland cow. Interlaken is located southwest of Zurich and it is a resort town. It lies between Lake Thun and Lake Brienz. It's known as the adventure seeker capital of Switzerland. That's a, that's a Scott favorite thing. It's right there. G Money always has a joke. She does know I like looking around cemeteries. First item of business was to get rid of this luggage, so we hopped a bus that would get us close to where we were staying for the night. Yeah, right here, 104. Interesting. Yeah. It's, it's, right here. it's the next stop, actually. I mean, as soon as you get off the train, you can see what the attraction is to this small resort town. The views are just amazing. Look at that. Now we finally got this adventure. Now to check in and drop off our luggage, we did arrive just a bit early, so we had to find the housekeeper there, but she did let us in a little bit earlier than we were supposed to, so thanks to her. Oh boy. Are you serious? And as she was finishing up, we were just enjoying the grounds there. A beautiful place. Let's see if we can get you inside for a tour of the room we're going to stay in tonight. That's key. Skeleton key. That's the way it opens just to be. Oh, hey, we got a second fan. <laughs> Did I mention we traveled to Switzerland during a heat wave? So we were getting the fan set up and the windows open to get some air moving through the room because there was no air conditioning. Well, I, I turned it off because spinning gear is no reason. All right, enough of the room. Let's get outside and explore what Interlaken has to offer. Well, I think we must have the harder On our way to our first destination, we stopped to refill our water bottles. And you'll find these drinking water stations all throughout Switzerland. If you want to know where they're located beforehand, you can download the water map app from the App Store. When we arrived at our first stop, Harder Coombe, headed over to the ticket machine to get our discounts with the Swiss Travel Pass to take the funicular up to the top of Interlaken. Harder Coombe. What is a funicular, you may ask? Well, it's a cable car up the steep side of the mountain. The cable car is counterbalanced, so there's a car on both ends of the cable around the pulley. 640 And as we exited from the funicular, I turned south for a view there, and I believe that is Iger Mountain in the background there, the one with the snow caps. And did I mention Interlaken is the adventure capital of Switzerland? Take a look at the paragliders. They were everywhere and it was amazing to see them just hovering. Stop 
for a few pictures there before heading to the restaurant that sits at the top of Harder Coom. We were just amazed by the views everywhere you look. Can't believe you're here with a picture thing. When I saw the picture online, that was I cannot be on here. Yeah. I bet it's not 50 degrees over there. So as we made our way up to the restaurant, this is a view west southwest, and that's Lake Tomb that you see in the background. It's in the shadow. Hey. Look at this guy. You can get a great view of interlocking in the valley below. Interlaken is a small town with a population of just under 5,800 in 2020. The town's economy is primarily driven by tourism. It's not as bright, so I think it's. Oh, Oma. Oh Take a picture of me under this. Oh, that's a better stuff. So beside the restaurant, there's actually a bar under a canopy there. You can get uh, refreshments and uh, they also sell souvenirs there as well. But as we like to say, we're here for the beer. This time we chose Rugenbrock, which is brewed locally right here in Interlaken. <laughs> I saw you posing with Mr. Ricola, man. Oh, look. Right there. Okay. The main one, there's another zipper for like a laptop bag. Interlaken is situated on a valley between Lake Thun and Lake Briance. Interlaken means between lakes. time for us to head down the mountain because H Money really wanted to get a paragliding session in so we had to try to find a place that had a open spot last minute and I am foreshadowing a little bit here because I would suggest if you want to do paragliding book well in advance on our way over we crossed over the Ara River which is a tributary of the Rhine and feeds both Lake Thun and Brienz and at this point, we wanted to jump in and float the Ara River, but we just didn't have the right attire with us. Did I mention we traveled to Switzerland in a heat wave? No luck booking the paragliding session at such a short notice, so we headed across the street to the Huamat, which is an open grassy park area. And we were able to catch one of the paragliders coming in for a landing just between the trees. Then this casino caught our eyes, so we walked across the street to take a closer look. Welcome to Casino Interlocking. So we thought they charge an entrance fee, and we're not paying to lose our money. Well, it was getting late, and we were hungry, so we decided to stop and get some food before venturing back to the guest house. The 
Mission accomplished with food in hand. We cross over the Ara River once again with some amazing views. This is our dinner. Mm. Pretty good. And hitting the co op. Wow. There's an Audi around here, too. Alright, it's on. Just record. I think you see, see a cat over here. Making noises earlier. Ah, there he is. Folks, these views are not over. This is just day one. We were at the top of Interlaken today. Tomorrow, we're going to be at the top of Europe. Just a reminder, you know, somebody did it, otherwise there wouldn't be a sign. Of course, this is probably normal in some countries. <laughs> 